Hi, today I want to give an idea when to sacrifice an exchange for positional advantage. This is a game I played while ago, not while ago, a few days ago. And it's a, uh, I sack exchange intentionally to gain advantage. Let's go through the game. We start with Sicilian, Rosolimo variation, and uh, pins the knight and then we just continue these are opening moves there is nothing special about it to talk about, to say i don't want to teach you opening in this part and of course we are not playing um, perfect opening it's uh, so far so good and we both are doing very well especially I, i'm very satisfied with my position of course, I have a very backward bishop and uh, bad, back looking bishop on c8, but that's not a big deal. Uh, I have a very nice pawn structure so far. Pushes the pawn to a3. The uh, reason is that at some point I may push a6, and then if it retreats the bishop, I push b5, and so on. But uh, if I push a6 b5 and then later uh, c4 his bishop is trapped if uh, the pawn is uh pawn stays on a2 so the guy um, pushes the pawn to have a retreated square for bishop but gives up another pawn and i just grab that pawn and of course it wasn't that free uh, he also had a tactic to gain it back. So I'm happy with the position as still. Mm, uh, uh, I developed my knight in a better place. Every piece is developed except my bishop and my bishop comes out soon. And I believe the pawn structure of me is slightly better than my opponent. We can also see engine. Maybe engine is not angry with me. Let me see. Yeah, engine is angry with me, says that my opponent structure is really better. The main reason is that mm, the B pawn is very weak. It's a very backward pawn. And if pushes the B pawn, then it, the entire pressure will be on C pawn. And it's not good to have your pawn chain at center because the most attacks are in the center. So let's go to back to the game. The, as you can see, the engine evaluates the position. We have exactly the same amount of material, but engine says it's minus one. So let's go forward, and then I push and mm, kick the bishop back. No, I develop everything, and my pawn structure is perfect. And we will see the weakness of the my opponent now soon. I attack the weakness of the opponent, and my opponent, I don't know what he's doing there. He could have at this position. I think it's very good for me. Uh, let's say at this position, I attack that pawn. My opponent goes back. I, I think uh, he could go, go rook b1 or uh, rook a2. Either of them is good. But as you can see, engine even engine says queen g3 is the best move. That's a strange. I really don't get it exactly. Yeah, I understand. It's very bad to defend passively with rooks for your pawn but still we are human we are not engine and especially in blitz game it's very hard to see why defending the b pawn is not a good idea so i take it no at this moment i'm a pawn up and still i have a better pawn structure but of course my queen is not very well placed my opponent starts to uh, attack my opponent structure, my uh, strengths. I say no, I want to push my pawn and I stop your C pawn. Right now his C pawn is blocked. Cannot He cannot move the C pawn. Because I will capture with my B pawn uh, even if my queen is not around. So attacks my knight. I say okay, I uh, stop your uh, pawn. Brings the queen to push forward. I say okay, let's... I stop the pawn with pawn 
and says okay are you agree to exchange i was more than happy to exchange because no he has no big piece to attack me so far so good we have a, a slight advantage mm, uh, not a slight mm, plus one something like minus one something like that mm, uh, we are pawn up but uh, it's not easy to convert so far and it starts to attacking me and at this position it's clear that he wants to play knight d6 Mm, and I cannot stop it, but mm, uh, then he plays knight b6. I cannot stop one of the squares, uh, only d6, not b6. And anyway, his knight is annoying. So I say that, okay, I don't like your knight. And he goes in, he goes b6. In sit. And at this position, okay, what can I do? I can play rook d8, uh, stop. Uh, exchange uh, giving off exchange and defend my pawn basically because right now if i don't put my rook on d8 if he takes my bishop then i take back then takes with the knight or bishop my takes my pawn and he will be he will equalize the position and somehow it's more than equalized because right now my pawn structure is not good in a sense that if i give a pawn it's not good anymore it's good if I don't give any pawn. So I said, okay, take on the rook. I take your bishop. Or if you don't take, destroy your pawn structure. And I will grab your next pawn soon. And But if, of course, uh, he goes for the giving the, up the bishop for rook. Uh, for winning the rook. And then I win the next pawn. He should save the knight. I win the last pawn. No count the pieces and materials. We are up three healthy pawns. Well, uh, the pawn structure is not super elegant, but it's good. Especially B and C pawns are advanced past pawns. A pawn is a little bit shaky. Um, uh, currently is defended with bishop, but it's shaky if my bishop if the, he attacks my bishop then uh, I have a difficulty to defend that a pawn but most important part is that I have a pass pawn uh, two pass pawns and uh, my opponent has uh, one extra rook um, for a bishop attacks my bishop I attack his knight and he gives up a knight for one pawn but I say that okay uh, he gives up a knight for a pawn uh, if I was taking then he was going to take my bishop I said no I like my bishop more than your knight especially if I can push the pawns and he goes back no I have very healthy past pawns uh, I'm up two pawns not three pawns anymore but very healthy past pawns and uh, the a pawn is also not under any attack I don't know if this move was good or bad. I wanted to defend my B-pawn to not fall into any trouble in future. But maybe it wasn't good allows his knight to go to B5. Anyways, he attacks my pawn. Clearly at this moment he wants to take my D3 bishop. And I cannot take back because takes my rook. So I go away. Attacks my uh, rook and pawn. I defend and attack the pawn. He didn't have check notice that he, he couldn't say check and win my rook because my knight was defending that mm, uh, e7 square. I take the pawn anyways and he give up a mm, uh, pawn for free. And he could have defended maybe. Yeah, pushing. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't maybe uh, Maybe saying check and then exchanging knights and then attacking to the other pawn with rook was more accurate anyway he gave up a pawn and he didn't manage to defend it basically and i also exchanged my weak pawn with his a stronger pawn no i'm again up three pawns and i bring the king forward because i don't want to fall into mating pattern like rook e8 and mate uh, for example imagine the scenario that he has another rook on h1 and plays the e rook on e8 then i mate so i didn't want to have this uh, scenario to enable him to have uh, such uh, cases and kick the mm, 
uh, king ev at this moment we are a little bit short on time but uh, still the position is so promising that time pressure um, doesn't matter much so i give some checks and offer exchange and uh, still i'm not up anything except three pounds for exchange right i'm not up a piece or anything but uh, still i offer exchanging rooks because well, his rook was preventing my pawn push comes forward i attack the rook because later i want to win that pawn no i can win the a pawn if mm, i like but i don't want it it's not important that much so i push the pawns attacks my mm, attacks nowhere i don't know it uh, here he is also in time trouble i'm also in time trouble but the clear pass here is that this two pass pawns one of them will be queen or will win a piece and the game continues a little bit i'm not going into detail of the blunders parts like this parts here this push wasn't so good comes close to my pawn and then i give this check this wasn't good because he can simply take with the knight and then i can take back but as you can see we both have very little time and he missed that uh, and especially backward knight moves are hard to see and especially in time travel and at this position he had nothing to play against my pieces and i was either i was able to easily win this game even though he lost on time but uh, no matter how much time he was uh, he had he was going to lose this game very easily yes if you gain advan positional advantage especially if you gain some pawns pass pawns it's very good to sacrifice exchange this is a long story short version of this video see you next time